Eh? Bwana tupo Hayat Regions na mbele yenu mnaona diva hapa pamoja na Abdullah Zaki. Leo ni sikio kubwa sana by the way ni sherehe uh, mambo ya ndoa yashapita tayari. Shimako. Na shukuru sana. Fresh. Fresh kabisa. Era sana. Asante sana. Diva ongera. Thank you so much. Era sana. Thank you. Beleza. Thanks. Leo kwanza mnajisikiaje? Shuli imeisha. Japo imechelewa kwanza lakini imekuwa pambe sana mnajisikiaje? kwanza tunashukuru Mungu imesha salama japo tumechoka maandalizi ya kuwa ya, ki, ya kitoto yamechukua ya nguvu nyingi ya kili nyingi lakini mwisho siku jambo limesha salama tunasema alhamdulillah okay mm. sawa so, na najua umehudhuria ume shughuli nyingi sana za mastaa wengi tumeziona pia kwenye tv na nini hii mm. kwako kitu gani kimekuwa special sana ni shughuli ya watu wachache mm. potential watu muhimu tunaojuana tunao mingo ni marafiki ni familia. Okay. Unajua imezoeleka sasa hivi shughuli nyingi za harusi watu 200, 300, 500. Mm. Lakini sisi shughuli yetu maximum watu 40. Okay. Lakini watu 40 hao kila mmoja ni mtu. Uh, na ni marafiki na ndugu zetu na kile huo ndio pekee wa shughuli yetu. Okay. Na hata umeona kuna baadhi ya watu waliozungumza leo akiwemo Diamond yeah, amesema kwamba binafsi amejifunza kupitia hilo. Mm-hmm. Yeah so it's uh, it's good thing na huo ndo utofauti wake. Sawa. Gharama ambazo zimetumika mpaka sasa hivi ni kiasi gani labda? Hatuwezi kusema exactly lakini kwenye milioni 10 mm. Yes, kifupi tu kwenye milioni 10 na huko yeah. Okay. Yaani almost dola 7, dola 8, 9, huko yani. Oh. Yeah. You include dresses baby. Yaani yani kila kitu. Zaidi ya milioni inafika kwaweza kufika 20m. Tena ni imagine ni fupi tu hivi. You include dresses, makeup, spini. Eh inaweza kufika 20, 20 something yeah. Mm. Ila kwa kwa leo tu Abdul knows it was spent more than 10 million kwa sababu nyinyi tu kuingia kufanya coverage hapa Hyatt. This is a five star hotel. It be dola 200 tu malipia sake Mungu na kuna receipt hapa. pale yenu nyinyi kwepo hapa. Yeah, tuna receipt yenu ambayo tumelipia 200 dollars. Wow. Nyinyi wote kwa hapa hivi mmeruhusiwa kufanya hii coverage yenu. Mm. You understand? Sawa. Yeah. Unajua uh, kwenye shughuli kama hizi mtoto wa kike huwa anakula gharama nyingi sana. Mimi natamani tuanze kwanza kufahamu kwenye vazi la diva limetumia kiasi gani cha pesa. Wedding Lydia kuanzia chini mpaka juu Uh, hair still available ambayo nilikuwa nayo nilikuwa naingia kaichukua inafika milioni tano na kitu inafika wow. yes yeah kabisa roughly hiyo hiyo ni roughly mm. eh yeah. sawa ndipo umewalika mastaa wengi lakini tuanzia hapa uwepo wa Diamond umekupa picha gani kwako di is the best on earth hakuna kama Diamond Platinums in Tanzania Yeah that's, that's that it is what it is when I say mandiko hivyo lakini pia nawashukuru wale wengine ambao wameza kujitokeza pia kuja yeah yes Damon wame ame, ameza kuimba lakini ajemba peke yake memba na zuchu uh, tunafahamu uh, kumkodi Damon plana mzikuja kuimba kwenye shughuli yako au kwenye stage ni gharama sana kwa kodiva sasa hivi nikasema umlipe Damon tumlipa nini kwa alichokifanya leo mtamlipa kumpigania hadi na kufa <laughs> Eh hey, yani mtu asinguze bosi wangu yani damu itamagika Abdul knows yani mimi hamna mtu namwongelea vibaya diamond nipo hapo hapo shule yani hapo watu jamaliza niko na wewe He is the most expensive artist in Africa yeah lakini he is my boss to me he is my family him being here means a lot to me at to my husband here it means a lot to ours tunampenda and we love him a lot Nimesikia kwamba Damon ni ameprepa kikubwa sana kwenye shughuli hasa kwenye kusimamia gharama na nini. Damon ni ametoa kiasi gani cha mchango kwenye hii shughuli? Ngoja, acha mimi nijibu mimi. Acha acha nijibu mimi kwa sababu akijibu huyu mnaweza mkaisi kama anapendelea. Ame ametoa kwanza ametoa kiwanja. Mm. Sawa. Mm. Ametoa titi for tatu milioni 10. Okay. You understand? Na amesema ni balozi wa Airtel sio ametoa ametoa simu ya ametoa simu mbili ametoa TV ya nchi 75 na yani almost kama milioni 40 zinafika eh kweli na ukisema utulie vizuri zaidi nafika yani ukisema utulie uandike budget iliyokuwa sawa inafika milioni 60 na kiukweli mimi sio kama nimeambia Abdul aseme hivyo ndio ukweli ambao ningesema mimi asifana mtu cha boss wake anapenda sana boss wake na mchana kanipa milioni 5 na mchana kanipa milioni 5 kia mungu anakuambia sasa sita mchana sasa sita mchana in cash 
zimekuja kwenye baasha. Hizi ndivyo utakatwa kwenye mshahara au itakuwa? Hamna kwa tototo kwenye mshahara. Wakati naingia wasafi amenipa vitu kibao na sija atakatwa kwenye mshahara. Na hapo hapo namwambia my boss na ila naomba bilioni 5 ananiletea. Yaani he is that he has that heart. Mimi mimi mwenyewe najifunza sana kwake kwamba ukiwa na moyo you have a very special and you give Yes. Mwenyezi Mungu anakuongezea zaidi. Sawa. Ni tunafahamu kwamba Diva ulikuwa karibu na baadhi mastaa wakubwa sana wa kupigania sana. Mbona hizi alikiba? Lakini anyway, uh, una, 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 uh, sawa sawa sawa. Lakini uh, ukualika labda siku ya leo. Mm, mm, anyway. Mwani, waje kufanya nini hapa? Msanii Tanzania mmoja tu na mziki bosi wangu mwenye wanaeno ni Diamond Platinum speke. Kwa upande wa Naume Nzuchu, I love Zuchu nyinyi. Mwenye she knows. Kwenye kwenye EP ya Foa ngoma gani ambayo inamfaa Abdul sasa hivi? Yeye anapenda loyal. Mimi napenda fine. And then yeah, can, baby you started loving fine as well. Mm. And then sometimes we listen to Walker. Like the good thing about the EP is a back to back EP and you listen to this song Unafata nyingine, yani every song unavoisikiliza, you love it, you repeat it, you love it, you repeat it. Mimi kiukweli kwa Abdul loves lawyer, mimi napenda nyimbo ya watasubiri sana, lakini hasa kwa sasa hivi napenda fine. The video is amazing, everything about the song is amazing. Kuna, kuna watu walihisi uh, hii ndoa, siyo? Kumiri, tuende kazi mama. Okay, thank you. Kwanza anapenda ni kupongeze jina da diva ungela sana. Ni ajabu sana na ya mwepresi na mkuhudhulia katika shere tina ya tiseme kamba ni bosu wako kumbo nubomuja ni tofauti mena kushangaza watu. Ni kipi ya swamba shuli mfanya da ya mwani kika mgusa paka anaunisha support kubwa sana kupando wako. He's my boss na mpenda ya ni sana tina big time and men unajua then me I'm real. Mimi if I love you, I love you. Ani ya mna kita badilika. Ani kisema wana ni memo kumpenda wako. I'll die with you. I'm like that. I'm also newsy. Like in with him, yeah, because I'm learning a lot from him. Like you want to say, like in here, quite up. Yeah, it means a lot. Virtually for two, but more than sixty million. Now, if you mention that to me, he gave me like five million cash in hand. So there's a lot to say. Quite. I'm not money. No, not need to share. Let's have fun. Na mshukuru mama dango tekato zale ya mtuto. Ana tupenda afanya kazi waki lakini mostly. Ana, ana upendo a very special. Upendo special. Kuna watu wali, wali sema. <laughs> okay. Na. <laughs> na bia na bia na kuli yezi heme jabdul. Kwa upande wako ya mjisikia aje kuona familia ya wasafi. Tina sehemu ya kazi ya mkeo. Inaoneshe support kubwa sana. Nigitu ambacho watu wengi wana kichafuta kupata nafasi kama yu. Nimefarijika kama binadamu tu nimefarijika na nime, nimeona okay I have I have people in na marafiki ni na, na familia nyingine ambayo uh, sikwahi kutegemea kuwa nayo you understand kwa hiyo katika katika akili tu ya binadamu una, mtu unapata faraja you understand kwa hiyo ndio ni nicho kuipata leo nimefarijika na haswa kuona wale wale, wale uh, wasafi queens si wasafi kings uh, Zuhura, Zuchu, Diamond mwenye yupo Ni faraja unajua Wana mambu yao mengi kufanya Lakini wameacha shuli zao mekuja hapa Na nyinanyi mnafahamu Zuchu ya madaimu na kipaform sehemu Akiimba kipaform Sio chine miloni miaka dha Lakini wameimba nyimbo katha hapa Wamefraina sisi Wameburika Wametembea zao Ni faraja kubo sana Ya Ni kuna kubi toka ndoa yenu ipite asa hivi mnaishi naona kila siku siku zaidi siku mapenzi yanazidi kuongezeka maeneo mengi sana ambayo yanazungumzwa kwa upande wako maeneo mengi sana ambayo yanazungumzwa kwa upande wa diva lakini sikuwahi kukuona ukijibu wala ukionyesha ni kama kucheza na hisia za watu ambao wanakuzungumzia hivi una unakuaga una unachukulia katika hali gani mimi na ofisi mimi nafanya kazi kwa hiyo niache kufanya kazi nijibishane na comment za watu wasa mimi na mke mwenye akili timamu kwa hiyo mke wangu atanruhusu mimi nikajibu comment no i say Yani tuna, tuna vitu vya kufanya hivi kubwa zaidi kushinda kujibizana na comment. Kwa hiyo wa comment, jibizao zikisha, wanunue tena wa comment. Sisi tunangi, tunatangeneza maisha, tunatangeneza hela, na nini. And kubwa zaidi ya hilo, na kubwa zaidi ya hilo, tutuache kukaa, kuanda, kuanda. Kwa hiyo wana tutagi, tupate followers wengi. You understand, yani tuache kukaa, kuanda, semina zetu mbazo nakujia, kuna semina ya harass, kuna semina. Vitu vingi vikubwa tunanda, tuache kufikiri hivu, tuanze kujibu comment za Instagram. Nope wengine walidhania ni kiki kuhusiana na hii ndo aeno na siku zinazidi kwenda mpaka leo tumefanya sherehe tunakaje sorry wenyewe kwa hapa kwanza sorry you copy carry 
mtu wake alima story hapo kwenye mic. Njoo. Azo jivicha nini? Njoo. Kati ya watu ambao wananisumbua for the interview hapa na namkatalia. Naomba leo uulize. Okay. okay. Anyways, uh, moja kitu ambacho niliona pia kinaongelewa kwenye mitandao ya kijamii uh, mara baada ya wawili wenyewe kufunga ndoa ni na, na watu kudhani kuwa ni kiki lakini pia ishi kubwa watu walikubeza sana kuwa maneno yote ambayo alikuwa akiongea ndio ameolewa na mganga na vitu kama hivyo. Hebu clear hivi na wajibu nini hao? Yaani kama ni mganga basi ni wangu. Yaani kama ni mganga huyu my baby he is my husband yaani mganga mimi na mshauri anakuwa mganga mganga mzuri namna hiyo. Acha mambo yako. Yeye ni sasa anafanya dua, anafanya dua. Yeye na wenzake wanafanya dua kuombea. Kwa hizo ni kama kama anavyofanya mtu mwingine kazi yake. Mimi naheshimu kazi anafanya. As long as ni ina, ina involve Mungu na ina, inatibu kama inatibu, I am okay with it as long as I am happy. I'm okay. Lakini he's cute bana sema baby. Mwangale mume wangu alipokuwa and some. Give me a kiss. Mbele za watu kabisa. Okay.